What's up everyone, my name is Biku and I am here with an impromptu and kind of emergency video. So, this is my keyboard. Um, you probably would have, oh I don't think you would have, but I made a video about this keyboard. It is a SteelSeries 6G V2 and I absolutely love this keyboard. I don't want any other keyboard, I just want this keyboard forever and that's for a couple reasons mainly because it has black switches so uh, and no i'm not being racist the switches are actually called cherry mx black switches and that basically means they are the uh, slightly heavier quiet switches so i believe normal sort of reds reds and browns uh reds are tactile but well are tactile but you can't actually hear the click but they're very light switches blue are sort of medium and they're also tactile and you can hear the click Whereas these are very heavy and you can't hear a click. There's no tactile bump. It's very smooth. Uh, that's fine. I like them because they're a little bit heavier key switches, which means um, sort of tapping one on the side is a less of an issue because I have giant meat hooks as hands. Uh, but I love this keyboard. But the other day, uh, actually quite a while ago, and I haven't done anything about it yet, which is sad, I spilled something on the keyboard over around here. It was sticky and it just wasn't very nice i couldn't use any of these keys basically so i took it apart as you can see there are all the keys here is the front bezel and the keyboard is disgusting um i bought this keyboard four years ago i believe four or five years ago and at the time it cost me 700 rand 800 rand yeah so around about there now it costs um, 1,700 rand. So I am not um, giving up this keyboard for just about anything because I could probably sell this for more than I paid for it eventually, but I don't really want to sell it. So what I'm going to do is clean it. This is the first time I've actually taken it apart, surprisingly. So I've given it sort of a little crack at this contact cleaner um, and it hasn't really done much to um, help the uh, stickiness unfortunately well it, it has helped a little bit and so I'm sorry if you can't see it has helped a little bit but it's not perfect so what I've got and this is just what I had on hand just battery water it's deionized water and I have a crap ton of q-tips or uh, yet so what do you want to call them so right now I am just going sort of in and around all the nooks and crannies to try and clean up all the dust that has built up over the years and yeah once you've done that um it's kind of that's the easy part well i probably should have recorded myself taking it apart but anyway that's the easy part now comes the part where you actually have to uh clean or clean the sticky part of it so that's where the deionized water comes in so the keyboard is unplugged and i do not plan on plugging it back in within the next 24 hours so what i'm going to do is just dunk the q-tip in there and i'm going to depress it into the switch into the switches that need to be cleaned um you can oh, i should probably get in a shot you can use a straw but i don't have a straw so i'm just using q-tips and I'm getting in there and depressing it and immediately that feels a lot better. So just clean it as best you can. It's not going to be quick. It, it just it isn't. It's going to take a while. But um, you want to get it nice and clean and free swinging again. You, you, want it to, you want it to feel like all the other keys. And you can use isopropyl alcohol. Uh, that would probably be better because then you can um, turn it back on quicker. But I'm just using water, in this case deionized water, not that you need to, you can use normal water. Just don't turn it on. Don't turn it on immediately. Wait for it to dry. Make 100% certain it is completely clean. Uh, or completely dry, sorry. You can hear that one, it's still a bit, it still sticks a little bit. So let me just get a little bit more water in the Q-tips. I really need to work on my camera skills and just get it in there clean it out uh, it's been so long since it happened that i actually can't even remember what spilt in here but it was probably some fizzy drinks that i no longer drink anymore because they did this to my keyboard that's why i don't drink them 
Yeah, and, and you you just shouldn't have fizzy drinks by your desk in general because sugary and fizzy and sticky things next to computers is just it it's always going to end badly eventually i mean if if anyone knows the saying uh, given enough time and money i can do anything uh given enough time and stupidity i can break anything too so just don't don't drink like fizzy fizzy things by a keyboard or mouse i mean i haven't my mouse isn't dead luckily although i think the scroll wheel is going on my mouse um yeah, um, maybe I'll do a video about that. Not that it's an ancient mouse, so I don't think I'm going to be able to replace it. Or I don't know, maybe I can. So yeah, you're just going to want to go around all the keys with a wet Q-tip and clean it. So I'll be back once I have done a little bit more work in cleaning it. So I found a straw. It's purple. Leave me alone. Um, if you don't know or if you haven't figured it out, this is how the straw method works. So you dunk it in, not too much, a little bit, just enough to sort of fill the cavity inside of the key switch. I'm going to say about that much, and then you put your finger on top to keep it in, and then just depress down, get the water in there. It's just the easiest way of getting water inside the key switch to clean it out. And then just pretend like you are trying to get into the bios of your motherboard and tap the key until you feel it's starting to get a little bit loose okay so i'm pretty much done with uh cleaning the keyboard um yeah there's not much to do now other than wait um it's not it doesn't really look that obvious but you can probably see it does look a lot cleaner now um what i would recommend is uh putting your keyboard with the keys down that way uh again look Water on the PCB is not going to be too big of an issue as long as it dries before you ever turn it back on. But it's still a little bit better to turn it upside down so that it can drain through the switches, which is predominantly plastic, rather than here, which is predominantly PCB and everything. So just let it dry uh, at least 12 hours, 24 or even 48 recommended, but at least 12 and as you can see by this disgusting looking sites with all those disgusting 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 q-tips you can see uh this keyboard hasn't been cleaned in a long time it hasn't actually been cleaned ever so in the condition that it's in it's actually not that bad after about five years again with a mechanical keyboard treat it as an investment this keyboard i plan on using well for another well on 10 years if not longer i mean people are still using dos keyboards like uh what are they called can't remember but like 50 year old dos keyboards so just take care of them and they will take care of you i will never use a rubber dome uh keyboard on my computer ever again Me uh, mechanical is better again that's my opinion but a lot of people share that opinion mechanicals better and yeah that's it so i'm gonna leave it at that uh, i hope you enjoyed this video i know it wasn't much of a tutorial but again i hope it helps someone anyone if your keyboard if you spilled something on your keyboard um i, I would recommend doing this immediately and not waiting a long time like i did uh but yeah that's pretty much it for this video so i hope you enjoyed and goodbye